millions? Well, lots of people do. But the idea is only a small part of the equation. And tonight, we'll meet some inspiring people who've turned their ideas into successful businesses. Peter Alexander's the name, Pajamas the game. Peter started his own sleepwear business at the ripe old age of 22. Ten years later, He's a household name for anyone in the know about Jim Jams. Well, you know, you can't go past a flannelette pyjama for, for winter. They remind me of when I was a baby, you know. Gorgeous. <laughs> you got a good memory. Yeah, I have. <laughs> I'll go back a long way. These days, Peter's the epitome of success. But the outlook wasn't always this good. I, I was terrible at school. I, I failed everything. I thought, what the hell am I going to do with my life? I, I couldn't get a job packing in Safeway. I would never have thought I'd be sitting in a business that turns over three, four million dollars a year, exports around the world and have a very nice lifestyle, but somehow I did, did it. This fun and funky line of sleepwear started almost by chance. I did want to go into a business on my own. I was working for Sports Girl at the time and my sister asked me to get her a pair of pyjamas for her birthday and I went looking for them and it's that old story. Couldn't find what I wanted so I made it myself. I actually started off with just $3,000 loan from my father who always had a great faith in me and I just plundered my way through it. I went to a factory and said, can you make up 20 pyjamas? And they looked at me like I was crazy. They said, oh no, we only make up thousands at a time. And I bartered with them and said, I'll pay extra. And I went to fabric wholesalers and it just was a very slow beginning that um, I started and learned about it as I went. Hello, Peter Alexander. Sure. According to Peter, one of the keys to his success was the ability to keep his expenses down in the early days. It's all about uh, learning how to juggle money, sure. how to speak to your bank That's manager, right. how to finance things, how to get loans, who to pay when, how to pay it. It's so confusing and I had to learn it on the job and I probably would have saved myself a good three years of work if I'd either got off my backside and didn't have done a business course or I learned a bit about it in school. One of Peter's assets is his ability to turn potential disaster to his advantage. Like when a department store cancelled an order for 2,000 pyjamas. 2,000 in those days was a hell of a lot of pyjamas. And I thought, I'm finished, I'm ruined, I've got 2,000 uh, flannelette pyjamas, what am I going to do? Uh, within that 24 hours, I decided to uh, take a chance with mail order and I put an ad in Clio magazine to advertise them. I thought if I can sell a thousand units I'll cover my costs. Well I ended up getting 4,000 responses so not only did I make a lot of money on it, we had to send back over a hundred thousand dollars worth of checks to people saying I'm sorry we've sold out. My mother wanted to roll around in bed with the checks first but <laughs> I said no, I'll send them straight back. So that was from that disaster I changed my whole business from going wholesale to mail order. Uh, that's just one example of how a disaster can sometimes lead you in the right direction.